guys, this is Jim with Chicagoland Geeks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply Captain Tape to glass build plates for 3D printing. So a list of things you're going to need. Captain Tape, of course. Your build plate. Some dish soap. A sponge. A knife to help trim off the extra tape. Some glass cleaner to clean out the plate ahead of time. A lip-free cloth. I prefer microfiber and some water. Alright, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and clean up your build plate really nice. You want to get all the oil off just to make sure that the tape will actually stick in the long run. So go ahead and just use your Windex. Just give it a good wiping just to help get the oils off. That's about it. It doesn't have to be perfect since we're applying tape on top of it. Good enough. All right, so next you want to take your Captain Tape and look for the adhesive side. This stuff's kind of hard to see as it comes in pre-cut sheets, but one side you have the clear backing and then you have the yellow part, which is actually the part you're going to want to use. Let's go ahead and get that ready. Get it cut to size if it's not already cut for your plate. Mine's pretty close. I'll just have a little extra overhang at the end that I'll trim off. Alright, so before you apply your tape, just go ahead and take a sponge and get a little bit of water on it. You don't need too much. You just want to get it wet so it doesn't stick immediately because this crap can be very hard to you know, adhere without getting little micro bubbles in there, all kinds of crap. Just get a little bit of soapy water on there. You'll be able to squeegee it out later, so don't be afraid to use, you know, a decent amount. All right. Okay, next, you're going to want to peel the backing off of your captain tape. And be careful not to let it wrinkle in on itself. If the sticky part touches another piece of the sticky part, it's never coming off. So go ahead and just get it off the best you can without letting it stick to itself. This stuff is really a pain in the butt to apply, so you want to go ahead, sticky side down. I'm going to start with the top. Just get it in place. Be careful not to let it touch itself, because that will be your nightmare. Oh, it looks like I got a little piece of something on it. Let me get that off real quick. All right. Seems pretty good. All right, that worked out pretty well. Now you're going to want to take some kind of credit card, some kind of squeegee. You see all those bubbles on there? You're going to want to go ahead, just kind of center your tape as best you can. And then take your time and slowly squeeze out all the extra water and soap. Get all the little bubbles out. Start from one end. Just slowly work your way up. Make sure to get anything, any kind of bubbles out, because it's going to cause problems if your if your hot end rubs against the bubble, it's going to tear your tape, or it's going to melt, or it's going to screw up the first layer of the print. It's going to suck. So just take your time and get out all the little bubbles. Look for anything that might be sitting underneath it that's going to cause problems. It looks like I have a, a couple specks of dust on the very end of it, which I'm not going to be too concerned about because generally when I'm printing, I'm using the center of the build plate. You know, I don't really come too close to the ends. In some cases you will, but not likely. So go ahead and keep working it from the one end. 
up to the top or towards the corner. But don't press too hard on your tape because you're going to tear it if you do. This stuff's pretty sensitive. Then we'll, oh, see, you almost did it right there. That nah, was just water. Let's go ahead and keep working that squeegee. I don't know if you've ever tried to apply this stuff without using soapy water underneath it, but it is an absolute nightmare. It's very discouraging. I've wasted about a whole pack of tape before I decided to try the wet method. And you know what? This has been working out great. So just with a couple minutes of your time and some patience, you can really get the tape on there nice and nice and flat, bubble free. See, that bubble just seemed to appear out of nowhere, right in the middle. All right, now I'm going to go over it one last time, from side to side. Just make sure everything's off. And then if you end up getting all this water off, you do a good job of that. It should dry fairly quick. And then you will have a perfectly taped build plate. check it out there's no bubbles I'm not gonna mess with it yet because there still needs to dry but I am going to trim off this little bit of extra tape I have on this side so for that just take your utility knife and run it along the edge Ooh. Put the tape no well, that didn't work that great. I probably should have waited for that to dry before I attempted to cut it, so now I'm going to have to go back and re-squeegee it. Alright, learn from my mistake. Do not attempt to cut it until the thing is fully dried. All it did was cause problems. Alright, there you have it. A bubble-free Captain Tape application. So don't forget to let it dry, then you can trim it. Then I would go ahead and go back over it one more time with the Windex to really clean it up. Make sure there's no soapy water on there. I'm sure ABS is not going to want to stick to soapy water. So, I think that's it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a like. If you like what I'm doing in general, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.